Hey, everybody, I got a show coming up on June 20th. It's a Lou Berger cast album release show slash party. Our album comes out on June 23rd, the Wizard of Friendship cast album. We're going to have a little show to celebrate. It's going to be awesome. It's right around my birthday. We're going to have drag queens. We're going to have other comedians. Lou Berger's going to perform. It's going to be amazing. Get your tickets in the description, and I'll see you there. Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's episode. When you consider dairy... Yes. Do you consider yogurt? Ah, uh, great question. <laughs> I do consider yogurt dairy. I'd say it's... But it's, it's got little lens. It's got little swimmers in there. To, to work against <laughs> you. Got, Don't come in your, in your yogurt. No, no but it's, it's alive. Yogurt's alive. Yeah, and well, I consider and well, it, and well. I consider it the most concentrated... <laughs> type of dairy? Dairy. No, wait. To what? me, a whole milk glass tall pint... That is concentrated dairy. I think for my body, yogurt is is the same thing. Let's see how fast it takes you to shit yourself if you have a yogurt. Welcome back to the yogurt shit your pants challenge. No, that's foul. But um, I just, to me, it's just like, oh yeah, like yogurt is excluded from the conversation about dairy. Well, because of the probiotics <laughs> fight the lactate. It's because of the probiotics are eating. Mm-hmm. And especially if you're adding granola. I mean, don't even get me started. What do you think about rice pudding? <laughs> Not dairy. But what do we think? Do we like it? I love the stuff. I love rice pudding. Rice pudding is slept on. Have you ever had Cozy Shack? No. Oh, dude, it's the. You've never had Cozy Shack? Cozy Shack is literally, you're going to go home. You probably have. You're going to slurp it up with a boba straw. Okay, what about now? Tapioca? Yeah, Cozy Shack also makes tapioca. Stop (laughs) advertising on the side. You can't just (laughs) accept your own brand deals. Yeah, sorry, I accept secret brand deals and just come on. Casually drop it. Ember Mug bought my boathouse. I I love the texture of tapioca and rice pudding, and some people are weirded out by it, and I think that you're the weird ones. Yeah, I oh, think yeah, it's I nice like to have. It's also like, it's like, a, it's honestly, well, that brings us to today's segment, actually, Zach. Right, because we're doing a plug today, and I keep <laughs> asking what we're doing, yeah. and I, he won't tell me, which is concerning. We're in a uh, the parking lot of an abandoned Kmart, which yeah. is sad. I'd um, love <laughs> if we could geo, and I don't even know if this exists anymore, but does geocaching exist? <laughs> You ever heard of geocaching? When Google Maps first came out, everyone was like, okay, we're doing geocaching. We'll give you a coordinates, and you go try to find, like, a secret little hidden cache, and it's got little treats in there. So we're going to drop cash. <clears throat> no, but it's not cash. It's it's a, a, a cache, like a C-A, like a, like, a, like a cookies, your browser, C-A-C-H-E. Are we giving people cookies with no, the cash? No, the idea is that some like weird cookies. farmer is like, I actually have a geocache here, and it's underneath a brick at the McDonald's bathroom. And then you find the geocache, and you go, and then you search for it. And it's like, it's like, um, like uh, you know, treasure finding in real life. What if? <laughs> okay. Yeah. What this is, is not today's segment, but we got to figure this out for the future. Yeah. We produce a series of riddles. Mm, okay. No. Yeah. You with me, Rainy? I love this. I yeah. love where this is going. Mm-hmm. We produce we, a series of riddles. Three? Us three? With a cat. Well, I'm thinking more you'll do the work and I'll, I'll <laughs> you'll take the, the credit. Riddles. Yeah. We, we come up with a series of riddles mm-hmm. with a cash prize. Ooh. The riddle is a location here in Los Angeles. Mm. And we say that on this date... Maybe it dropped whatever Wait, time our podcast. Wait, this is Rat Race. This is Rat Race. This is the movie Rat Race. We're doing that. But whatever time the podcast drops, yeah, we are now waiting in a location. <gasps> oh, first person that gets there. And in real time, the podcast will drop this on a good idea. Thursday morning. Yeah. Thursday morning, we are waiting at the secret location. People will all listen to the podcast episode. This is a great episode, idea, yeah. And now we record a podcast, a follow-up episode yeah. of narrating in our little hideout yeah. to see, do people come? And whoever gets there first wins a hundred dollars. Yeah, no, it was going to be a small <laughs> prize, a hundred dollars, and uh, they can also they'll be on the podcast. That's a great idea. Actually. Maybe everyone who finds it can be on the podcast. Yeah, it's going to give people on the East Coast an advantage <laughs> 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 because it goes out at two in the morning here. <laughs> so it comes out at five in the morning on the East Coast. Are we cool to delay the release of an episode? So that it comes out, because yeah. I don't want to be awake at two in the morning. Well, no, you don't have. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we should delay. <laughs> delay to at least I don't know what three p.m. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what time I typically am feeling awake and good. No, I think if we have the episode come out at eight a.m. Yeah, that's really nice. Then we can get to our location at nine a.m. Yeah, they'll give people an hour to listen. Oh, but some people are going to listen on one point five speed, so they'll beat us. So we'll they'll we'll work out the logistics. We'll the math. I mean, we'll do the math we'll later, do, I guess. We're, we're ma- kind of math whizzes. We'll we're be Mensa. in the Yoshinoya bathroom. 
And no, don't. Sh- oh, sorry. I don't want to give away. And then we'll see if people can find it. I think that's exciting. I think that's very exciting. I think it's like it sort of is speaking to the idea of what if life was a game, a Game of Thrones. Which brings us. No, that was sort of. I know it. I teed it up like we were going to go to the Game of Thrones <laughs> museum or something. Is there a Game of Thrones museum? I don't know, but it, there should be. But no, today, Zach. I thought, speaking of rice tapioca balls, that we would go and get a little boba. I love boba! I knew you would. Oh, I'm so excited! I knew you'd like boba. Where are we going? Well, that's a great question, and I was wondering if you had any ideas. (laughs) (laughs) And Uh. so, because to me, boba, and it's also, it it speaks to what I want to talk about today on the episode, and I want to get your read on. Mouthfeel. (laughs) Mouthfeel is this theme. (laughs) Mouthfeel. Things you put in your mouth, around your mouth, and how you feel about them. Uh, But no, uh, a lot of boba places. There's there's actually a shocking amount of boba. There's a shocking amount of boba. There's six boba places within a half a mile of us, and I haven't been to any of them. Oh, yeah. We're like right next. There's a boba. God, turn no. around. Oh, my there's God. Literally, Wait, there's <laughs> literally a boba place a fucking block from here. No, it's not even a block. It's not even a block. Place. It's in the... I mean, we got to go, I guess. It's in that the one, fucking mall. It's in the complex. That one is closed. It opens at 11 a.m. Ooh, three-hour episode? No, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of boba places aren't going to be open at well, 9 a.m., yeah, right, Rainy? They're all... We, and it seems like we maybe made a misstep with the pre-pro in that case. Yeah, but I think there's going to be one. one. There's going to be one. one. Sometimes both places also have coffee. Hey, I'm 0 for 4 right now. Ooh, because they're all closed? <laughs> yeah. What they, about It's Boba Time? It's Boba Time is closed. Let's look Ooh! At, let's check out Boba Guys. Yeah, I love Boba Guys. Uh, Boba very guys exciting, though I don't have it on me. I have a... I don't That's even know if I'm allowed to say this. Oh my God. I have... I think lifetime I've told supply? you about this. What? I have a... Yeah, lifetime supply no of free boba at Boba Guys. No, no way. fucking way. What? I have a, they gave me a like metallic, like a metal, like, oh. like you know those like Amexes, like yeah. the, 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 the ones that are like that hard metal. And you drop them and they climb. How did you yeah. get that? How did so you they, get that? They made that, but it's, it's for, bo- <laughs> it's for boba. I've definitely told you this before. I must have forgotten. And you just it. don't listen to me. Yeah, I don't listen to you. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's, I, I get one free boba whenever I go. So not unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's closed too. Okay, Boba Guys is closed. Okay, there's only one Boba spot that's open. Oh, okay. yeah, and you know Which it's got to be the lowest reviewed, <laughs> <laughs> lowest reviewed Boba place. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, I think it means we're going to have to travel outside of the complex, but that's fine. <laughs> we're not nervous. This is the Boba Bar, but now here's the thing is that's not good. all... It sounds good. Boba bar? Mm. Wait, okay, it's Boba Time opens at 10 a.m., which is in 10 minutes. Okay, well, I didn't know that. So I think we should go there. Okay, great. I'm sorry I raised my voice to you, honey. <laughs> Look, I was, also looking, the boba bar. I was doing your pre-pro, <laughs> <laughs> looking through all of these places. Sorry, we already did the pre-pro. We said, we. I came in, I said the word boba to Rainy. She said, sounds good. <laughs> Now, here's what I wonder is that some boba places, you know, a lot of boba places only do the traditional, which is right. that thick yeah. milk. I need the Zach special, oh, which is? is that fake milk. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of, you know, th- it's possible that they don't do that. It's so. possible they need, fi- you mean oat? Oat. They've got to have oat. Or fake. I, yeah. th- you know, you'd be surprised. It's they boba don't, time prob- they don't gotta. Oh, I think it's boba time has oat. Should we call? And yeah, see? but they're going to be open in 10 minutes. We should just show up. We should oh, just yeah. show up. Um, that's polite to show up. Should we address the elephant in the room? Absolutely. Oh, it's a Zaremelay special. <gasps> Obviously, it's a Zaremelay special. The Plog sort of invent- was invented by a Zaremelay in yeah. the last 30 minutes of a single episode. There's that little <laughs> spice that just yeah, can't be- Yeah, there's a be, spice uh, that just can't be tamed, really. My glasses are crooked. Interesting. Do you see it? <laughs> oh, my- <laughs> That just moves so- Oh, my God, the car's moving! No, it- Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out my foot was on the brake this whole time. Oh <laughs> and I wasn't Zach almost in just ran into the doors of the fucking <laughs> the abandoned Kmart. We what? almost just had a fucking felony on our hands. 
<laughs> you say no, it's not. <laughs> Did I say that? And by the way, the viewers will be able to see the windows. <laughs> the fucking time and space. I felt like it was being an earthquake. I was like, well, am I on mushrooms? Like, why is everything moving? Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Jesus. So, so that's crazy. That whole time, yeah, we've been recording for 11 minutes. My foot's been on the brake, and I didn't even realize that's it. That's right, man. I didn't even perceive hey, it. That's, a, that's an opportunity for you to check in. Sometimes your foot's <laughs> on the brake, and you should be on the gas. Let's start going in reverse. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so, so anyway, I woke up yeah. this morning, and the last two days, I've been wearing my other pair of glasses. Which I love. <laughs> I love your new glasses. Because I've been trying to yeah. be a, a multiple glasses Boy, yeah, <laughs> and and I like the new one. These are the ones you wore to YB's wedding, or those other. I have three. I have three. You see, they're so you didn't even perceive them. No, I didn't. They're see they're it. still round, no, they're, but they're gold. Oh, yeah. And they make me look a little dorkier, which I like. That's oh, nice. I think it's nice for the serious days. Yeah. But I put these ones back on, and they're fully crooked on my face. I don't think they look too crooked. Well, I adjusted them a bunch. Maybe your face. <laughs> Is crooked. No, I think you should wear your Kingsman Secret Service glasses on the blog at one point. Though. I would be honored. Those are the ones you wore to YB's wedding. Yeah, but I don't know what to do. They're so crooked. But they're not crooked. They're exactly. crooked. I think that you're seeing that they're crooked. I adjust. I can or see. Do it. you think they're crooked? Look where it l rests on my eyebrow. Boop. Or well, you should boop. shave the eyebrow so they're evened up. Can we do that? <laughs> do you guys have. Honestly, Zach, how much money? They did this on Game Changer, the dropout show. How much money would you have to be paid to shave a notch in your eyebrow? Oh my eyebrow? gosh, Zach just pulled, pulled out a, a nose, nose hair. hair. I, I did think that that was a little aggressive, a little private. Yeah, I just I saw it and it was bothering me, and I. I mean, I, I pull out my nose hairs sometimes too. I rarely do. Lord knows, if you've got a well like mine, you've got to do a little cleaning. <laughs> Randy, but, I want to tell you something called uh, about aging, and oh. one day. <laughs> You're gonna realize that you need to trim your nose hairs. I it's don't want to do a, that. It's gonna be a dark day. Uh, yeah, how old were you when you had to do that? Mid twenties. <laughs> uh, Miles. I was nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably in my late teens. I was oh. kind of hoping that we, I could just pluck my nose hair out and that, that very we, sensitive. we wouldn't, wouldn't talk about it. Yeah, that it would just be like a cool little moment for, for the me. video. And maybe maybe the eagle-eyed viewers would notice, but well, I assume you, that most people put this on and kind of tune out. Well, to be fair, so you're mad at us. I'm not, no, you, I wouldn't say I'm mad. I don't. I, I'm not expressing anger. You plucked, yeah, you plucked a nerve. I'm expressing hair. disappointment. <laughs> you're disappointed. Well, so Zach, on the way here, actually, I mean, there's a little beef that we have to sort of <gasps> settle. You told, and I think actually it speaks to a larger um, sort of uh, age-old question. Mm. Now, you said that we obviously did the nug off. Two weeks yes. ago. Oh, we obviously yeah. The nug -off. And Zach was in the car saying, <clears throat> you know, actually, the nug -off was so successful that we're going to make a main channel video mm -hmm. where we do it with French fries. Yeah. Yeah, the French off. And I think that that sort of leads to a question of, Rainy and I should probably have more control over the entire company. Oh. Because, obviously, if every department ran like the podcast department, <laughs> yeah, we would be a well-oiled machine bouncing around virality. I mean, I get TikTok that. here, billion views. TikTok here, billion, billion views. views. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was going to ask you to be in the video, <gasps> but now I'm feeling a little threatened. Okay, first of all, <laughs> just kidding. Rainy and I are so happy about the video coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no, I do think that um, what's your favorite kind of French fry? Fried potato. Oh, good question, Rainy. I was actually just recently asked this by Kaylin for a TikTok, so mm. I'm I'm ready to go. And actually, it's and I'm stealing this because I totally forgot that this existed. Ooh, curly fry. Oh, oh. curly fries are really nice. They're all down and dirty too. Got that crinkle, crinkle. They're kinda, down and dirty. They're kind of battered. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, they're. Battered. They've got like a little, little crispy, crunchy. They're the bad boys of the French fry world. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To me, tots. I love tater tots. Are I don't also like really tater tots nice. actually. Can I say this once and for all? Say it. I'm kind of over sweet potato tots. Never even <laughs> imagined a sweet potato tot. I just feel like and fry sweet potato fries. Sweet potato. I'm just over it. I think that it was fun for a little bit in 2014. I agree. I agree. It's and done. I, I think it's done. Miles, we this just, podcast doesn't have room for your xenophobia. Uh, so, oh, xenophobia. Honestly, <laughs> that's a good point. 
Sweet potatoes are the most American. No, I just think yeah, I just think sweet potatoes like were a fun yeah, idea. We're recording this in Italia. People also oh, say right. people also say sweet potatoes are better for you, which I frankly people, say. <laughs> people do say. Frankly, I think that that's like neither here nor there, but. I feel like the sweet potato fries have gotten worse because I remember in 2014, yeah. holy shit, yeah, they, were they were good. They were bumping. But now way. it's like these are soggy and yeah. bland. <laughs> yeah, big time. <laughs> something's happening to the sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> something's in the sweet potatoes. You heard that from Rainy first. Uh, you mentioned uh, Game Changer. Yeah. And you, I, we blew past your question. But so we have a Romeo and Juliet live stream. Yeah. We have pushed the, we're, we're doing it uh, on August 10th now. Uh, Which, to, by the way, yeah. my half birthday. <gasps> and that's why we're and doing that's it. that's why it's happening that uh, way. And Kylie Jenner's full birthday. <laughs> oh, in honor of Kylie. She loves Shakespeare. <laughs> she loves it. One of the real reasons we're doing it. Why do I want to learn a new language? I'm a worldly man, I love to travel, I love to be with the people. Which is why Rosetta Stone is perfect. They are the expert in language learning for 30 years and an award-winning app where you can learn anytime, anywhere. They got 25 languages. You can you know, Spanish, yeah. French, yeah. Italian, German, Korean, yeah. Chinese, Japanese, you name it, they got it. And I love that it prepares you for real life. This is gonna go beyond just vocab. You're gonna focus on speaking practice, pronunciation with their true accent feature, and more. You can learn and make real progress in as little as 10 minutes. There's no tedious memorization needed. This is immersive, intuitive learning. For a limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's Lifetime Unlimited subscription, which gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever for 40% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. Rosetta Stone, how language is learned. Uh, Dingle, I was supposed to turn there. Yeah, you definitely, I oh, was well, wondering. We're just chilling. We're taking the scenic so, route. We're taking the scenic route. Actually, there was a bunch of really good trees over in this part of town. Let's go look at the trees! Okay, so I'll, I'll direct you. I, I, I drove by them the other day, and I was so <laughs> wowed by, by how good the trees were. Were they big? I marked it on my Google map. I was driving pull, pull by. Pull it out. Pull I was it driving out. by, and we'll get Boba. Uh, it, it's not, sort of on the way, and in in, in, in not at all, though. Um, but as I was driving, I marked out a little thing, and I said, great trees. Yeah, let's go look at trees. Okay, so that's going to be wow. a must for us. And was us. this for the podcast, or was this for you? I no, this was just for him. This is just for me. So I dropped Am a I pin. Going You're just going to keep on keep on going. Okay. <laughs> go Bun Struy. And, and <clears throat> Kablooey Struy. And then you're going to make it right on, right up here. But um, I just was so you don't really get well, confronted. There's a thing in the street. You're gonna make a, you're gonna make <laughs> a, you're a gonna dumpster go, in the you're street. You're gonna go straight <laughs> and then make a left. Actually, okay, that's the opposite of what you that's said. That's a parking garage. It sure is. Um, but uh, I just was. You don't often get confronted with how beautiful nature is. Yeah, I would love to confront our viewers. What did you, did you smell that? Yeah, it's kind <clears> of like burning rubber. It smells like burning rubber. Is okay, it your wait. Car? I need to. I need to get back to this point. Wait. So, so our Romeo and Juliet live stream. Yes, please. The reason I'm saying it is because we've got a whole bunch of. Sp so one, we moved the date so that we can make this show just unbelievable. Like the response was so good, we're like, okay, we can do this good or we can do this amazing. Let's do this amazing. So that's why we moved it. But we have a whole bunch of special guests that we've teased, and we haven't announced them, but I'm going to announce <gasps> one. Yeah! Uh, because we have uh, uh, these interstitials throughout mm -hmm. um, where we, we've abridged the show. Romeo and Juliet, it's a long fucking show, and yeah. we're already going to be messing it up a little bit with our, our imp improv bits. So, uh, not that we're improvising. You're going to be potometer. improving. Improving, guys. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we have narrators to help abridge the action, and one of them is Sam Reich from Game Changer. No oh. fucking way! So I thought that. Oh, that's so great! I love Sam Wright. But the reason is we're, we're uh, we wanted the show to have like a, a coherence to it, so we're letting it. You know, our Verona is the backdrop of the internet. Like that is nice. why. Oh, you know, why are we doing it? Okay, so we're giving it this like internet grounding. Yeah. So each interstitial is going to be in the style of a different. Uh, internet show creator, et cetera. Oh, that's really um, cool. It's going to be really fun. That's really interesting. <clears throat> I, yeah. like I was, that I was stoked on that. Yeah, that's really exciting. And by the way, Game Changer is like doing what streaming is failing to do on an independent scale, and it's so cool. Game Changer and Dropout in general. I actually think we that stand. We stand. thinking about the internet is something that I'm really interested in, <laughs> conceptually. 
Ooh, interesting, Randy. Speak on that. Um, <laughs> well, I I would need to like interview people. I don't even know. Oh, studios. I would, we're driving by well, Cartoon we're Network. Right, we're right here, oh. Randy. So interview. Yeah. Oh. We're kind of you're kind of like I didn't really two internet pioneers. You're, That's right. You're <laughs> third. Me. Well, also me and probably Zach too. <laughs> Um, well, I guess I'm just thinking, do you, what do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was the, <laughs> is your question, what is the internet? Yeah. Um, that's actually a good question because I guess, yeah, when you think of the internet, you're thinking of Google. It's connected ideas, you're right? You're thinking of Google. No, 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 just like, not one website, but like, conceptually, yeah, like I a, think. Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. <laughs> But I think it's like <laughs> the internet is like a bunch of cables underneath the sea, right? Really? Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, it's a bunch of interconnected computers. The computers. Well, okay, but see, this is so. So. <laughs> this is not like a philosophy question. There is a real answer to what the internet yeah, is you, and how it functions. Well, and that probably will tie into the philosophical. Think you're right. But it's such a massive part of our world, and I don't think we're really considering, like, we, we can't even answer what it is. I mean, I think we did. I think, <laughs> I think we just did. You just didn't like the answer. It's a bunch of binary zeros and ones and yeah. a bunch of wires that connect servers together. Okay, you're going to get in the left turning lane, and I just want you guys to prepare to be wowed. Yeah. Okay. This is a street that I drove by the other day, and I said, whoa. So we are here. We're right next to downtown Burbank. Yeah, right next to Gordon Biersch. <laughs> oh, wow. You're Look, right, Am Miles. I fucking right, though? <laughs> this is the street? This is the street. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I mean, this is... It's a beautiful. <laughs> this is nice. I'm sorry. The greenery could not be more explosive, I don't know Zach. that I'd go out of my way for this. You uh, you wouldn't go this out of your a, way for this. It's a tree tunnel. In my mind. It's, it's a, a tree tunnel. Yeah, it's a tree tunnel. I Look, I love <laughs> a street with overgrowth. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And it's nice. I'm talking about that we're driving, you know, in Spirited Away when they're driving to, okay. to the bathhouse. When you tell me that I'm, and it's over, it's just one little block. Yeah. Oh, Wait. it's <laughs> over. Sorry. You don't, because what's the thing about <laughs> shoot amongst the stars and you'll fall amongst the moon? <laughs> 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 when when I'm told that I'm gonna go see some miraculous trees, yeah. I'm expecting some old motherfuckers. No, it's I'm LA. It's LA. A tree it's that's LA. Seen something? Yeah, I know where there's some incredible trees in LA. That's the hill really? where you jumped on the bed with me. <laughs> let's let's go to an ad. <laughs> let's go. To, let's go to an ad. I I know some incredible trees in LA. Yeah, and. I don't know that we have the time. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> let's go back no, to I'm it. turning around <laughs> to go back through. I want a little double dose. Now, to describe it for the listeners, it's just sort of like a bunch <laughs> of trees on their overgrown, so it's a tree tunnel. So it's we're a tree going, tunnel, yeah. and yeah. look, I love a block that has their tree game together. That's what I'm saying. A just coordinated <laughs> tree uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so often like a McDonald's and like a yeah. Burger King, and here we get some trees. We uh, So Maggie and I were, were driving through some random streets in the valley, and we, like, we happened upon one mm. where we were like, everyone on this block just got their trees trimmed. Oh. Like, like wow. everyone. And they were beautiful, mm. and they, they, they were giving us a little bit of tree tunnel, but not, I mean, I'd say this is kind of, like, bordering on overgrowth. Uh, oh, my, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's overgrowth now? <laughs> Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, you're a logger. You're a <laughs> But I was like, what, what? Trees are on the public property line, and we have a tree mm. in our front yard that mm -hmm. is, like, has like dying branches and it's fucking like big yeah. and kind of ugly and uh -huh. we've like tried to call the city to be like yo mm. can you make this tree look nicer yeah and they said no you have to do it yourself so we got someone to give us a quote and it was like two thousand dollars oh yeah to trim a tree Good it's time. not cheap no there's a tree actually in front of my house that is it's a palm tree and you know how the palm fronds fall off and they if pe for people who don't live in california or la palm fronds are like the big things that are part of um Part of your, your world. Tree. They're part of the uh, palm tree, and they often are trimmed, so they fall off. But if they don't get trimmed, they grow really long, and then they break off. And they kill, like, nine people a oh, year yeah. in, in California. And it's because like... Because someone's just walking, and they Because the wind, like, shoots them really quickly, and they're, like, sharp and kind of heavy, and they kill Jeez. people. When someone gets killed by palm frond, and I'm yeah. sorry if this is triggering to anyone who's lost a loved one. To a palm frond. To a, a tree. Yeah. Um, 
are they sliced or are they not? I think it's like they get in the head and then they fucking are like beef. That is awful. Which is really horrible. But um, killed uh, by a tree. But you know what? We kill a lot of trees. That's Zach. <laughs> your oh, <laughs> what? what? A really, a really good point. But your your odometer is kilometers per hour. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. Oh. And you're so you're a Brit or what? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what's the deal? Um, I just like to be worldly. Uh huh. Is that really true? <laughs> well, I actually, I've had something in my head for ten minutes, Ooh. and it's a small story. But let me just give you, I. <laughs> Zach, tell me about the kilometers. <laughs> actually, never mind. Actually, never mind. Um, so when we were talking about Romeo and Juliet, yeah. I actually watched the first half of the Baz Luhrmann. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. And mm. by the way, this is what I really appreciate about him and about that story. Leo? I mean, yeah, but he's canceled. But not at the time. And at the time, he was pretty dreamy. But... I like how they make out every four minutes. Yeah. I think more movies should do that. And I think that most <laughs> movies are using the tension of are they going to kiss? And I actually think that's kind of lazy. And you think that this movie uses the are they not, are they going to stop kissing? And that's the tension. <laughs> yeah. What if they stop kissing so much? Well, and I think tension is really built in to the story enough so they don't need to use that little method of like, oh, I just want to see them kiss. Yeah. That's why I'm staying to the end. It's like, no, I want to see them kiss again. Because and who knows if they're going to be able to because of their families. <laughs> That's a good point. You want it to feel like a kiss fest, Rainy, nonstop. Rainy full time member of Guilty Pleasures when? <gasps> uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Um, so I get that, Rainy, and I love that for you. Yeah. I don't have any. Yeah, I mean, I like to follow up. I liked the thought, <laughs> and I'm glad you shared it. Yeah. And I, I'm into it, and I don't know that I have anything to contribute. Yeah, Queen. I think we're just going to give it the old Zeremele stamp of approval. Yeah, big time. Wink. Wink. And uh, I'll Wink. now tell you about my kilometers. Yeah, so yeah. my car <laughs> yeah. uh, reset to kilometers. Sure. And Is it because I'm in the car? You. Stop <laughs> it. Uh, and I couldn't figure out how, for the longest time, how to change it. So then finally I figured it out and then it reset again and I mm. forgot how to change it. And so I said, fuck it. <laughs> and I just kind of let it ride. But as a result, I never actually know how fast I'm going. Mm -hmm. And I, I just kind of rely on the people around wondering. me yeah. uh, to Context know. Context clues. Context clues. So I, you know, if, if I ever get pulled over and they go, son, do you know how fast you were going? I'll say, officer, in fact, I do not. Yeah. You'll say 20 <laughs> kilometers an hour. And he'll say, well, the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. And I'll say, well, that's not accessible. Is it possible that there's a loophole that because your yeah, car's in kilometers, kilometers, yeah, you, you wouldn't get pulled over for speeding? <laughs> that's well, Or if I do, I have kind of the out. And I'll say, mm. oh, I'm sorry. I'm just a wee little British lad. I'm a little British boy. <laughs> I'm just a little silly little lad. And I'm here in, you're lucky I'm driving on the right side of the road, mate. Oh, there is a Froyo shop, too. Yeah. Mm. I've told you guys I worked at a Froyo shop, right? Oh, yeah. Did you have a crush on the, your coworker, too? I was dating my, my high school girlfriend, also worked at the Froyo shop. See? That's how it goes. And we used to close on Friday nights together. Not to brag. <laughs> Should we get a haircut? Oh, I really do need a haircut. I don't know. Uranie, you, you don't want to go here. Sports clubs? <laughs> you don't want to go to sports clubs. <laughs> so we are here. Yeah, and I'm wondering if we should send in an agent because I... Yeah. Um, to get, But then it's just... But a, it could be me. And then it's the it's the rainy Zach um, Chatathon or whatever. We could also go in. We could go in, but I wonder if they're going to say... No hey, filming. No filming because well, we're a boba. It, this is It's Boba time. It's Boba. boba. It's boba time. Oh my god, Google just said we'll see you latte. You're at it's boba time. I don't think Google should make jokes. <laughs> I think that Google's a informational hub. And That's I don't, what the internet is. Uh, see, that was the answer that I was looking for you're back. You're looking then. for it's an informational hub. Yeah. And like okay, from who? Where's the information? People. People. And so actually it's a reflection of us and it's not a separate entity at all. Okay. But I will be prepping some questions for next week because I think there's a lot here. I just, it's so big. I don't even know how to broach it. It's so vast. It's like, yeah. what really is an idea? Holy shit. What's up? Okay. So every week I ask, do you have a little vegan treat? Yeah. And really what I'm asking is, do you have a treat without dairy in it? Because I don't give a fuck about eggs. Yeah, fuck mochi. that shit. They have macarons. And that is as close to a little vegan treat. They have what? Macarons. 
Ah. <laughs> Macaron. Macaron. Yeah. And now macaron, the filling can be frosting, but it can also be jammy. Oh, because we did a macaron video. Macaron. With Gabby, Gabby Hanna, right? This is the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just what the video was. <laughs> so Should we order online? Ooh. On, inside in-store pickup? No, I think we need you to go in and see if yeah. they have... Because I'm not convinced that they have... <gasps> They have almond milk tea. Oh. Fuck yeah! Of course they have almond milk tea, Zach. Okay, I'm gonna you silly be silly goose. I'm gonna be getting a rose oolong. Wow. Okay. Milk tea with vegetable milk. Rose oolong milk tea with veggie milk. Ew. And boba. <laughs> and of course boba. Hang on, let me write that down. Why don't they call it veggie milk? Because it's not veggies. It's it's nuts. She talk to me about <laughs> it's legume. Rose oolong milk tea. Yeah. With almond. Well, oat. Well, oat if they got, almond if they don't. So talk to me about why you chose that flavor. I like oolong tea. <laughs> and I like rose. <laughs> rose is usually my go-to boba flavor. Oat. I like the florals. It's nice. Oolong is a nice tea. It's ceremonial. Do you want full sweet? No. Half sweet? Quarter. Quarter sweet. You silly goose. I am going to say that that's a good order, but I think it's more herbal. And when I get a milk yes. tea, sometimes I go taro. That's probably what I'm going to get. Oh, taro's in nice. I'm going to go taro, double boba, half sweet. Double boba. Yeah, because I want it to be a meal. <laughs> I'm looking to do a meal replacement with a boba. Do you know Do you know oolong? I've heard of it. No, I've had it like once or twice, but I honestly, what are the flavors of oolong that I'm not it's, getting in a regular it's a, tea? Um, I want to. It's not nuttier, but it's it's it has almost like a burnt, um, like like um a uh, uh, burnt like fireplace <laughs> aroma. But what's interesting about oolong is that traditionally it's it's a more of a ceremonial tea. So you steep oolong for I forget a couple seconds. You throw away the first batch. Oh, that's right. Ah. And then you can steep it like traditional oolong. You steep it like six times, and you keep it. Ah. The flavor changes and transforms as you're drinking it. It's meant to be like with a whole bunch of people. You have a big pot, and you kind of keep refreshing it. I like that. Um, I've never done like a, a full tea ceremony like that. I think it'd be quite nice. I think you should do one to the office for us. Okay. Do a I mean, I'm feeling like Zach has his tea company. Yeah. You were a barista. I yeah. need a beverageino brand. Oh yeah, that's right. Roots Rainey's beverage of choice. You could have a chai brand. That's true. But that's sort of tea, and it's just encroaching on Zach. Yeah, and back I know off. We don't. Yeah, back off. We don't want a succession moment. But <laughs> I do wonder if Rainey, you could have a muffin brand. <laughs> the Muffin Man. Rainey's. Do you know the Muffin Man? Then it's me. Rainey's muffins. <laughs> Ray muffs. Okay. It's, it's, it's a brainstorm. Rear muff. Ear, it sounds like ear muffs. Oh. It, it's rain and muffs. It's okay, well, rain. Oh, well, let's just <laughs> <laughs> let's go to an ad. Yeah, Rainy, I think a bakery type of. Um, I could definitely be the girl next door in a bakery. Entrepreneurship type situation would be good for you. Yeah. I could see you with a bakery <laughs> that specializes and serves only one thing. Oh, yeah. We I don't make... like a long menu. I don't like it. No. Mm -mm. One item. One item. Only. Oh, what's, and what's the item, Rainy? What type of muffin? Oatmeal. Oh. oh. <laughs> brand. Oh. Oh, br <laughs> it's a brand muffin that's going <laughs> to knock your tits off. Hey, have you guys been to Rainy's Muffins? Well, it's I guess Rainy's Muffin is what it's called. Because it's just one. <laughs> Rainy's Muffin. <laughs> have you been to Rainy's Muffin? Have you guys been to Rainy's Muffins? It's, no, 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 Rainy's, Rainy's Muffin. muffin. <laughs> it's yeah. just bran, apparently. They serve one a day. Yeah. They, yeah, I get there real early. They're exclusive. Honestly, it's like a Gucci drop. <laughs> oh, Gucci drop every morning every at morning, 6 a.m. 10 muffins. That's it. Gucci drop, <sighs> Gucci drop. I make a dozen. 11 are for me. Ooh, <laughs> and then you, if you're my friend, you can have one. <laughs> Honestly, we should, by the way, it would be so fun to do a Shark Tank at the office for a video. If you're looking for quick hit videos, how about this? Yeah, you I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it our, our whole company as low effort, yeah, low effort as, possible. as possible. You're yep. going to just sort of shoot these in the studio, turn the fluorescence on and get going? <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that a Shark Tank where you're like, we'll give $1,000 to someone's business idea, but it has to be, and everyone pitches really dumb business ideas. Oh, I mean, if you're if you're offering $1,000, I will put in high-key work. Okay, maybe not 1000 <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but it's I like will, I will bake Rainey's you a muffin, muffin a day for a thousand dollars. We green light a business and in a single day we mount it. Yeah. And we put it <clears> on <throat> display. How mm, okay, let's think yeah. about this. So the video is called Shark Tank. We are Shark Tank now. And yeah. Yeah. everyone pitches Stone and Shark Tank. In that video, you see the video. You see the you see the the, the business the business come to fruition one day only single day only and what we would do is you would rent a really cheap like space and you would have set designers and they would just like use the shit we have already oh yeah and make the business happen so Susanna is really doing the heavy lifting yeah in this well video. I think that the set could be sort of like very minimal yeah white modern it would have to be a modern business <laughs> so we're we're gonna need to get that boba. <laughs> So okay, yeah, yeah, you're getting I'm you're getting sleepy. a little sleepy. You have caffeine sleepy. this morning? Not enough. When you just checking, we're recording audio, right? Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> we, Honestly, one time during this are, recording, I looked back at you and I thought, I, I looked back at you and I think it was just like the way the light was, but I thought your eyes were glassy, <laughs> and I was worried that you had not been recording, <laughs> and then realized and started, but didn't know how to say anything. <laughs> You thought her eyes were glassy because she was like on the verge of crying. Because she was like, I, I had like recorded and I pressed it and I don't know how to say that I hadn't been recording. You know what I probably would have done? What? I probably would have tried to like extend the amount of time that we were 100% recording. hundred percent what I would have done. hundred <laughs> percent. I think what I have done when that's happened to me. Yeah. She would have gone like, oh, uh, you know what? Um, actually, can we? We have to go to Beverly Hills. It's <laughs> an hour and a half away. Uh, oh. Uh, actually, and just um, like actually, like here's a joke <laughs> re-intro to the episode, but it is the intro to the episode. Oh, uh, okay. So you actually, are gonna go yeah. get Boba, and Rainy and I are gonna slowly yeah. leave this car. Yeah. Um, gonna, oh, you're leaving the car. Yeah, we're gonna come meet you. Okay. Miles, can I have a um? Yeah, what do you want? A coffee with Boba. Co ooh, ooh. Uh, and you want it to be like an iced latte with Boba? The sea salt hot. coffee. The sea it. salt coffee. Ice hot? coffee. Scalding. Wait, sea. <laughs> She you can so get hot wild. boba, by the way. Wait, sea salt. You want it hot though? No, no ice, ice. Here, I'll sea do salt, it. Live a little, live a little. Like, sea salt, iced coffee with boba. Yeah, with boba. With boba. Someone is really enjoying a cigarette. <laughs> so yeah. close to this car. Okay, okay, here's the mic. I'm gonna go in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we have two choices here. Mm -hmm. Three. <gasps> we could take the GoPro out, take the auto recording out, go outside, narrate. Uh huh. Two. We could take a nap. Oh, and that's <laughs> strong. But we actually haven't even broached our pre-pro that we did extensively oh, yeah. in the morning. <laughs> okay, then let's broach it. I'm back <laughs> up. I'm excited. You're back up. Okay. Because obviously we'll play back the reaction when Miles said we're getting boba and you were thrilled. Uh -huh. And so the question of the episode, uh -huh. how do you get that happy but always? Boba is happy. Uh-huh. So, check in. How happy are you, do you think, on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, that's a good question. Right now, in general, uh, what, like this week? Like, on or... average, on an, in an average week. And how, actually, and how much way, how much change do you have? Like, because, yeah. You know what's weird is that I'm a happy guy, but then you ask me how happy I am, and my impulse is to tell you what's going bad. Interesting. What is that? I, I yeah. want to tell you why I'm not happy, but I'm a happy little lad. You are happy. What's I, what's making you happy right now? Um, I've I look. I mean, I've dealt with depression and in in the past, and I don't like there. There's a chemical component to it mm -hmm. that I've had to figure out. So I think that's that's part of it. Is that like I'm just balanced and have found the things that work for me. Mm -hmm. But then there's also a philosophical. Uh, component to mm. it where I think I discovered the inherent absurdity of life from a very young age. Uh huh. And so I I just try and take that approach to each day that that huh. the life and the world is inherently absurd. Everything is ephemeral, and so you need to make the most of it because it it's that's it really can change and end at any time. Um, yeah. And then with that to like not take things too seriously because this is all silly. And oh, like, yeah. look at this. We're <laughs> sitting outside of sports clips, <laughs> getting boba, talking about nothing. On the and, clock. And it's our job. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it's really, like, even when I'm, I get pretty stressed out. Mm -hmm. And then you just have to kind of stop and go like, nah, 
Yeah. I'm happy. I'm cool. What What was the moment, and this might be too, what was the moment that you realized everything was absurd? Uh, I mean, there were a couple things, but I, you know, I was in a nearly fatal car accident when I was younger. So that, that had a big impact. Yeah. Um, How old were you? I was in fourth grade. I was wow. like 10, 11. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was like things like that. Yeah. But that's, I wouldn't say that that's something I actively think about. Mm-hmm. Like, why am I happy? I don't know. Maggie always uh, marvels at that too. She thinks that I'm like so happy. But I think I just like surround myself. I think that's what it is. I surround Mm. myself with things that make me happy. Right. And that makes me happy. So like my job makes me happy. The people in my life make me happy. And so like, yeah, I got things. What about you? Uh, What about how happy am I? (laughs) Yeah. You know what's interesting? Because recently, I I feel like for most of my life, it was like pretty average. Like just generally, like my days were pretty similar. And in the last year, I feel like I've had, like, good days, and then, like, I'm, like, I get to the end of the day, and I'm, like, that was a frustrated, like, I was frustrated. Like, the, the, a lot happened in this day that was kind of annoying, so, you know? So you're saying this year you haven't been happy? No, I have. I definitely, actually, I, I actually think I've been probably really happy just because I think getting older and getting more comfortable. Like, yeah. I think I should be just kind of, like, insecure and, like, nervous. Uh-huh. I, I definitely think that a lot of my current happiness also relates to the fact that I, like, don't carry the same insecurities I had when oh, I was yeah. younger. Um, I'm moving the car to see if we can uh, get a vantage on Miles. Oh, um, yeah, we gotta see. I want to kind of spy on what's at. going on. Um, so, uh, perfect spot. Oh. you know, it's like... Someone, the people who are smoking, who are clearly stoned out of their mind, just pointed at us driving with microphones and are like, whoa, <laughs> look at them. And honestly, they're right. We're weird. Oh, he's, he's okay. on his phone. I see Miles. He's inside the boba time. He's waiting. Let's they see. What's the line like? Because that's going to give us a lot oh, of information. Okay. Oops. We've got someone giving me a dirty look for being behind her car, but we're going to take her spot. <laughs> Miles is back. Hey, oh, what's up? We um, sorry, we were talking about happiness and depression, and then I moved the car to come close to you, and then um, uh, I, we got we text lunch. messages, and we got distracted, and we kind of sat here silently for about five minutes. And you, and that'll all be in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just, so I got a lot of text messages mm-hmm. about what. We're on a big email thread that was uh, something that went off, was popping off. But is it? Yeah, it was the VidCon one. Which, by the way, hey, uh, VidCon, Zach's gonna be there. After publicly declaring I wasn't gonna be there. Yeah, Zach sort of talked a bunch of shit, and then you know he had to get the free swag from the Snapchat booth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so updates from the Boba store. Uh, very nice, uh, you know, c- uh, cashier, Boba prepper. Sorry. Sorry. I'm curious. So <laughs> and I, see, I know I see. I, and I see exactly what you're confused I see about. But three bobas. Yeah. And there's three bo- and one is markedly taller. One is gigantic. I know. And I and, and I doesn't don't. have the the fun seal. <laughs> and and that's neither here nor there. But it is confusing. It's also in sort of a <laughs> custom cup. Why? Why? I is... think it, it does have a boba booth, straw booth. It's right there. A <laughs> booth. It sort of is. Why? A port. Why is my you, boba? Because, and oh, ooh, I don't know. I think that probably what happened was that um, it was rose oolong, and maybe that comes with a custom cup. Oh. Rainy, I will say your drink looks, looks good, so right? good. It's, it's kind of got the Thai iced tea look where the, the yeah. milk is like it's got a cream thick top. and creamed. It's oh. creamed. See, creamed? Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, oh my god. My fucking okay. god. Okay, so everyone knows ah! how you know how the plastic seal on the boba is like it's like I you probably wouldn't try you murdered probably, you. You probably don't want to trust it. Well, I'll say that mine fully went upside down. Miles and just let the boba slide off his lap, dump upside down, fall over his lap and the middle console <laughs> before he caught it. And oh. thank god. The heavens that they yeah. sealed this. If this were mine, yeah, right, it would be gone. Game over. It would be game over. Um, but uh, wow. yeah. It, now, Rainy, how is yours? Because I really am excited to see. So, it is like so heavily caffeinated. How I do you know? Like, one sip, and I was like, oh my god! And it it almost has that like burnt flavor of coffee that has me thinking that it's hyper caffeinated. Did you just pop? Your plastic off mic? 
Oh, I'm what sorry. Are you, you talking did you about? want the ASMR? That's a huge I mean, moment. Oh. Okay, so I did spill just a t- Oh, you fucking Okay, I didn't mean what to. What are you doing? I'm really sorry. What are you doing? So here's what happens. <laughs> what are you doing? We're gonna need, You're messing up left, right, front, and we're center. We need a na- Do you have a napkin I don't or have a, a napkin. hoodie or a t-shirt? I'm going to need to go get a napkin maybe. <laughs> because I Can you maybe bring mine back and ask them to plastic wrap it? You want me to rewrap? It's because there's <laughs> not really a cup holder moment here. I'm putting the mic so that Miles can fix the errors of his ways. And all right, and yeah, here yeah. we go. Very underwhelming. Yeah, so yeah. Huh. I feel like we're in Lots the fight. To, now. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I have to get some napkins from Subway. <laughs> You're not even going to get them from Boba Time? No, I'm embarrassed. Okay, let's talk about life and depression again. <laughs> no, I want to talk about, I have a lot of thoughts about life and depression. Uh huh. Can we talk about life and depression, or should we make a few jokes? Maybe a few jokes. So this, I'm having my boba. Yeah. I love the little balls in my mouth. I would say that this boba's mm-hmm. too soft. Weird, because mine is actually pretty firm. But I do, I would rather have firm boba than soft boba. I, mine's, um, it's too gooey. Wow, he got napped as fast. He's running. <laughs> Look at him. He's like Tom Cruise. Wow, yeah. oh, fucking, that was incredible. Um, it's like Glenn Powell. Okay. I, I'm telling her that I think my boba is a little too um, uh, soft, but like like uh, gelatinous. Like I want a firmer bob. When you, uh, you mean? Oh, sorry. The t- the balls. The balls. I find that boba. So back to you guys were talking about joy and happiness. It's interesting because I think that boba is very representative of joy. It's sort of a little treat with little balls that have little surprises. Life is like tea. And you are the balls inside. And depending on the sweetness you add, that's how many balls you'll get in your mouth. And if you suck deep, you're going to get a little surprise. Metaphor. (laughs) Now, Rainy, how is yours? (laughs) My life or my boba? Well, they're one and the same. Same question. (laughs) Same question, same answer. My life is pretty good. No Mm -hmm. complaint. I mean, what's so scary is that, you know... At any second, you could die. <laughs> no, by the way, I think about this all the time. Mm-hmm. And in fact, my thing that I think about all the time is, <clears throat> if someone told me that I had a year to live, how would I act differently? And I think that... I would take out so much money. Okay, so but that Sarah said that too. She was like, okay, but that, that, doesn't, that logic doesn't work because then you just grab credit cards. And it's like, I get that. Ignore that part. Like, ignore the parts that they have things that you would do with that are reckless that you're, like, trying to get out. You're trying to find a loophole. I'll it's tell like, you what. I'd probably plug a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. If someone, yeah, if you're like, okay, a meteorite's going to hit the earth, you, we'd be plugging every day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, you know, all that's important to me is, the leg- is my legacy, and my legacy is the plugs, so... You want to be stored on a server. The plugs are stored on a server <laughs> underneath the bunker, yeah, the White I House would, bunker. I would build a bunker to make sure that mm. the asteroid doesn't wipe out yeah. this this important historical text. I think I'd download like all of Bones or something. Just because like if I'm going in a bunker, like I'm, <laughs> I, I want to have a physical copy. And Bones is your choice. And like put it on film so that way I can use a projector. Can you so- imagine if like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. That's something really important. If, <laughs> if everything was destroyed, okay. So you know that quote that's like, um, the history is written by the people who actually write it down. What if we are we are the only thing? So there's all these texts that are like really important, like Gilgamesh, but it's only because that was randomly written down. Like, who cares? You know, <laughs> probably. But if we in 300 years, our plog is the only thing that Honestly, people have. And I'd that, be happy with that. I think it'll be really good. Yeah, I don't know that there's much more that you need. I think there's, a, like, we sort of have <laughs> what? We do arts, culture, topics. We sort of are giving, and food culture. Let's, by Philosophy, the way, first, we're kind of, mm-hmm. it's commentary on, like, the the modern uh, commercialization of, mm-hmm. the, of the world. We're kind of, like, post uh, late. Yeah. Uh, first of all, let's hold up our bobas for the thumbnail. Okay. You sure you don't want the thumbnail to be your fucking treats? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shared a special moment that I 
flagged on Google Maps. I can't believe that you. Did. I drove through I and I thought. I can't believe you know what? You drove I drove through and I thought reason. this is a good spot to drive through. This is like a fucking amusement park <laughs> that my, for my friends mind. will enjoy. Will love it. Honestly, I didn't. I wasn't even. I didn't even flag it to show my, the plug. My I friend- flagged it to go back to and take a photo. <laughs> On a, on a on a weekend, and I, and I wasted it on you. That my friends it. would say, "Oh wow, thank you I for sharing like, yeah, this look at this special stuff. treat." I think you'd be like, mm. oh, "By the way, you looked at bugs last week on the <laughs> okay off mic, <laughs> off mic." Yeah, I'll and I, here I am saying, "Look at all these trees. There could be bugs in the trees." Well, we didn't pull over to look. That's true. Should have. Oh, I swallowed a bubble hole. You're supposed to do that. I or hate die? that. I get mad when they when a little little slippery devil sneaks on through. Makes me makes me worried that I'm gonna choke. <laughs> I have a choking fear. Speaking of death, um, I'm terrified of choking. Yeah, that's that's the one that scares you. Mm-hmm. I'm not really scared of a lot of things. Um, have you thought about man ghosts? <laughs> not doesn't do it for me. Have you thought about chewing your food? I don't have the time. <laughs> Because I've watched you eat, and it's kind of like okay. a... Okay, <gasps> okay. It's kind of like a Kirby situation. That's going to be... Are you insulted? I'm a little insulted, but I know it's true, because <laughs> I, I eat so fucking quickly. You do actually eat really fast. And everyone knows it, and it's sort of notorious about... It's my, my legend, is that I eat quickly. But I think um, I'm worried about choking, but yeah, the year thing... Uh, uh, I'm thinking about when I... Uh, if you were to be, be like, okay, an asteroid's going to hit, we have a year... How would you act differently? Maybe no, let's would, say three years. I think that I would do a lot differently, oh, and it, yeah. it disappoints me to think about why I don't live that way now. Um, what is not a specific, but like, what is the ethos of what you would do differently? Um, I, I, I think that it's really easy to get caught up in quick hits of serotonin, even within your work and your productivity, mm-hmm. where you, you, uh, uh put things that have immediate rewards over things that take more time and are more rewarding in the long run. And I mean, even like if you have a big project that you're working on, answering emails is going to make you feel like you've accomplished things. Mm -hmm. And so I think that if I knew that time, it would be easier for me to... um, say fuck certain things and and really hone in my focus but it's also not fully the reality of how life works mm. um but i do think about that so you'd you'd try to invest in things that was like you're building towards something versus trying to accomplish and finish it all in one day like running around the track at high speed versus pushing mountain yes well that's interesting because i think that um yeah, that is really interesting because also, yeah, like what we do for work is sort of these little projects. But I think what you're saying is, yeah, you'd you'd want to have the um, that you'd want to dedicate to something. Well, and we can talk about it within the context of of our company because that is what mm-hmm. we all share. Is I think if we knew that we had a year left of not even let's say our lives, let's yeah. say if we knew we had a year left, interesting of, of yeah second try content i mm-hmm. think our content would be and look different because our goals huh. would be different yeah yeah we would say yeah. let's we have one last year to make the best shit possible yeah. as opposed to where we're at now which is we have we want to keep this train a running mm-hmm. as long as possible because we rely on each other mm-hmm. for our careers and livelihoods yeah. and longevity of our financial lives and there's also like yeah. a lot of constraints of Okay, so like, yes, we want to like we want to make the best shit possible, but then also we need to make stuff just to keep the lights on, so we have right. time to make yeah. stuff that's going to take longer, and like you obviously want to enjoy the stuff that keeps the lights on too. So I think that that's pretty interesting. I yeah. like yeah, I like what you said about us being interdependent on like our careers and livelihoods being interdependent. I've never thought about it like that, but it is oh, true. Oh yeah, interdependent. There's an invisible word. string between us all. If mm. MJ does enough of those cards, right? <laughs> Everything's wrong. Everything's wrong. No, yeah, but, no, yeah. I, I think there's a huge, like, you know, I, my priorities yeah. are are fundamentally shifted by the fact that we are a collective. Right. Uh huh. Well, that's cool. That's really interesting. I think one of the things I would do is, um, and they say there's just all these interviews with, and then Renny, I want to hear what you would do differently. Oh. Um, 
I uh, there was this interview or there's a, a video where they interviewed a, peop- a bunch of people who are 100 years old. Oh yeah, it was really great. And one mm-hmm. of the things they all said, like, what what do you wish you had done differently? And they all said, I wish I had worried less. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's something that for me, um, having a big amount of time, that's like, okay, what's my career look like for the next 50 years? Mm-hmm. I have a lot of work. I'm like, oh, I could, you know, what, what if I tried to do this or what if I learned how to p- play piano? And it's like, then you're hard on yourself for trying to learn new things and whatever. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's one thing that I um, I sit at late and I'm just the worry part of it instead of just trying to execute. Try, guys. Try. More like. <laughs> it was there all along. But I, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I would just probably, I mean, it's hard because it's like, what would you do if you, a meteor was going to hit the earth? I'd stop worrying so much. I've gotten better at not worrying. Really? Which is crazy because my life is full of a lot of stress. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, it doesn't affect me the same way anymore. Really? And I've been going to my acupuncturist and he'll, like, always be like, so, like, you could probably carry a lot of stress, right? I'm like, no, nah, I'm kind of. That's great. And he's like, he's like, yeah, but like stress is like the cause of a lot of problems. I'm like, nah. What has you stopped <laughs> worrying? How do you do that? that? Have, bro. <laughs> right. You have like, I guess it's also you have chronic pain. So at a certain point you have to be able to be, to look at that and be like, I just have to keep going. I have to, you know. Yeah. What, what made me stop stressing? I don't know. Nothing fucking matters. <laughs> oh, we're bullshit. It's, it's the Roman, it's <laughs> Roman Roy. I mean, I've, if this all fell apart, mm-hmm. we'd figure it out. No, I think that that is actually a lesson. Sarah and I always say, too, um, if something horrible would happen, like a car crash or something like that, and, you know, you lose a limb or something along those lines, you would look back at what was going on right now, and you'd be like, oh, like, my problems, they, yeah. everything was okay. And, yeah. I, and like, once you're approached with a big problem, or you have a loss in your family or something like that, you're like, oh, that's the big problem. Everything right. else can kind of fade away. Yeah. Well, and, and like, uh, my job is I am the, the leader of this... <clears throat> I'm the leader of this company, right? And so there's a lot of stress that comes with that of how do, you know, is our content uh, up to quality? Are we getting enough views? Yeah. Our, what state is our, uh, I don't know, like, our, how are we structured and are we structured mm-hmm. responsibly? And I can stress out about a lot of those things because there are big things to think about, but that doesn't really help me do the best job. Sure. So you just have to go, I don't know, go with grace and... And and like again, who's, who's Grace? I, I, Grace is um uh Your my neighbor? my neighbor, and she sometimes we go on walks together, and That's she's cool. a sweet little old lady. Um, I I think it was just that perspective shift of like if the worst thing happened, mm-hmm. which I don't think it will, but like if the worst thing happened, I think things would be okay. Sure. For me, for everyone. So like then it's like okay, well we've gotten that worry out of the way, so now let's just try and make do the best we can and mm-hmm. whatever happens happens. Yeah. I don't know, I'm rambling. Uh, I like that. I feel like if the worst thing happened like I think of like my sister dies. Sure. That I, I would not be like, oh, it's okay. Okay, yeah, I mean that sucks. Yeah, like yeah. sure if if you're talking about like losing a loved one, um mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. that would suck. I mean, yeah, I think that that's the crazy part is like uh, from someone who has lost. Yeah, I know. I, I said that and I was like, fuck. Well, no, 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 no. I, to bring that it up. I think that it's actually an example people bring up a lot of, mm-hmm. as like that being end game horrible. Uh-huh. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm OK. Yeah it, 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 yeah, it is horrible. It was horrible. And then you sort of are able to somehow find a way mm-hmm. just because you have to. And I think yeah. that that's yep. sort of like you have to settle into some sort of stasis because that's what people do. Like, yeah. you know, eventually you will, uh, maybe okay is not the right word, but it's like eventually you'll be able to cope, you'll be able to move on, you'll be able yeah. to enjoy a boba. You'll be Aww. able to enjoy yeah. a boba. Yeah, it's, I don't wish the worst on anybody, but I think yeah. that we're a lot more resilient than we think. Mm. Um, and, and I think the takeaway here is you can't live in fear of the worst thing happening. Right. And you also, if... If and when you are unfortunately confronted by those worst things, mm-hmm. it's inevitable in our lives. You will experience a lot of bad things. You will lose mm-hmm. loved ones. Mm-hmm. You yeah. uh, Things won't go according to plan. There's a dream that you'll fall short of. Um, but that cannot stop you from your pursuit of happiness in a, in a day-to-day. Mm-hmm. Um, and that doesn't mean that you don't stop to, to feel sad when it's appropriate. Mm-hmm. But you get your boba. You get and, your boba. And, and you maybe suck deep. <laughs> you suck deep on those balls. Oh my god. 
And you try. Hey. A little tenderness. Oh. Okay. I'll change the battery. Hang on, Rainy. Oh, changing the battery. I wonder if that is like. Because you, I think of you as one of the happier people that I know. Yeah. I and think that, yeah, you just have to. But behind the happiest people I know, there is a moment that you can point to of like, oh, that's the saddest thing that could happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think well, it's, yeah. It, and actually, me and Zach answered this. Do you think you're happy? Oh, uh, you answered this in the car? Yeah. I think I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you strike me as someone who's very happy, and maybe that you know that's not to say that no, you I don't am. hide things uh, and have your own things that you struggle with, but like you exude joy. Yeah, I think that I am happy, a happy person, um, but I think I'm also because of the life that I've had, able to have both exist. Like uh-huh. my parents always used to say that um, even when I was a kid and things were really tough, they would hear me cackling from my <laughs> laptop in my bedroom. Oh. And they'd be like, what is going on? And then I come down and like, I just found that I was able to find little moments of joy and be really happy. And then uh. also just experience the other stuff. And some might call that compartmentalization, but I'll call that the way I do things. <laughs> but no, I think, that, <laughs> I think that it's just like, yeah, I've, I've been able to <laughs> exist in a world full of joy and have these big moments of joy. And then also acknowledge the things that make it difficult and just like uh, my perspective is also like <laughs> I have the capacity to be joyful. Like there's not so much holding me back, so I better be. Are you looking at this tree? What do you think about this? Don't tree? even think that this tree is like the other tree. <laughs> I think this tree is like Bali. This it's is fun. No, it's got nothing. character. This is nothing compared. I mean, to there's not like other trees around it that are as nice, but I think like just no. pound for pound, that tree is. I don't even know which tree you're talking about because I nice do one. think that Miles' this, trees were cooler. This is a fake tree. Yeah, that one's a cop. No, no, no. Isn't it a fake tree where it's a power line? I, I think it is a real tree, but it looks like one of those fake trees. Oh, God. You hate to it's see that. It's the real, People like, are... wow. Blue buggy, no punchback, times two. <laughs> <laughs> you punched me in the I, face. <laughs> I've, never, oh! <laughs> I've never seen two. There are two old buggies. Yeah, that is cool. And they're from different years, and they're both blue. <laughs> the way that you pulled up, it was like we were on, like, a Disney safari ride. <laughs> oh, and now you can look at the two buggies where me and Rainier are both looking at the side of the car. If you look to y'all right... Um, well, if you've yeah. got a little buggy, ooh, cool door. Mm. Uh, if you've got a little buggy, you may want some advice, and I know a man. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone, get ready, Miles Nation. Miles Nation, go. If I say I'll go four miles. If I say I'll go four miles. What's up, Miles Nation? <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Ay, 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 yeah. I'm going to find a tree that's better than your tree. We're on the hunt. Um, yeah. Do you want to freaking be able to be wet as hell? Yeah. You're going to try and turn left here? I'm it's ambitious. I was thinking about it, but I'm second guessing it. I'm telling you that if you're not getting wet enough, I'm gonna need you to get soaked. Something that I've found is the time is of the essence. I don't have enough of it. Ah and so <laughs> I'm using my time in ways that is good to have. In the morning the baby is awake. Oh, you're a father. And Daddy alert, I go to work. But guess what? Daddy doesn't have always time to shower. So I've been oh, no. showering before bread. Oh. <laughs> I've been showering before that sweet sourdough that makes our life sleep. And I am telling someone, mm-hmm. aka you, Zach, mm-hmm. that you should shower before bed because then you're going to get into bed like a cozy little wet pancake Mm -hmm. who is Ah. so sopping wet that your hair is gonna be nuts in the morning like soaking in my filth i think your nasty little sheets could be looked at (laughs) under a microscope okay i debate this with maggie all the time because i'm a morning shower she's a night shower and she's like do you don't you get into bed dirty and then and i'm like Mm -hmm. no but i sweat because when you get into bed it's always dirty i'm oh i sweat (laughs) at night (laughs) Oh, I'm a night sweater. 
So I'm going to wake up dirtier than I went to sleep. But no it's clean what. sweat. It's clean sweat because you're having water. You're having water, <laughs> and then you're going to bed. So the sweat's clean. It's not full of garlic. No matter what, I'm waking up dirtier than I started. Is and sweat I, like, dirty? Oh, that's so deep. Fuck. Is sweat dirty? It's natural. <laughs> it's all that's healthy natural. That's healthy natural. Dirt, dirt is natural, and dirt's not dirty. Dirt is organic. Yeah. Um, so I like here's the thing is I just I personally I never feel like my day has started unless I have showered and it's because of like the mm. eye crusties and you may say Zach just just wash your face with water I it doesn't work the same I've stopped mm. washing my face and yeah, sometimes same. that works for mm-hmm. me and I have no breakouts and sometimes that's bad but I can't really figure out if it's what it is because sometimes I'm just like for a while I was washing my face and then it I was I was way worse for my skin. Oh! Would you look at this? Okay, this beautiful is a- street. Yeah, that- it's pretty actually. I do like it, Zach. Mm-hmm. That I have found. I think this is a nice street for us to see. Ooh, jacarandas. That's the purple flower. Well, everybody, uh, we have seen your votes on where we should take the next plug. Uh, we'll leave another little poll here. Wh- um, what is the winner? Um, well, I can't say the winner. <laughs> We've seen your votes, but, yeah. um... Well, well, logistically, we couldn't do it today. We've seen your votes. We've locked in on what we need to do. Logistically, it was impossible today, but we will get there. As always, you can head over to the Patreon to check out the Afterpod. We've got fun little stuff over there, and Zach is revealing his feet for a special <laughs> price. Yeah. <laughs> we're actually, we're going to be re, uh... Rebooting the Afterpod into right. a whole new exclusive show mm-hmm. uh, starting at the end of the month. Um, so look out for news for that. But uh, that's all she wrote for today. Rainy, here's with the tripod theme song. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't plan a song. I wasn't I expecting this. Uh-oh. And that's the tripod. What a say. Have a good ass week. Uh-oh.